Usually when I'm like bulking or cutting, I weigh myself like every Monday. And every Monday lately, I've been coming over to the scale. I'll step on the scale, it'll say low battery, and I'll kind of just like guesstimate my weight. But some Mondays, it'll actually work and just kind of flicker low battery and then give me the weight. But it's, it's pretty inconsistent, but we'll see if it works today. Ooh, it's working. Bam, 215. I actually was not expecting that to work, but the weight, 215.8, that's like the highest I've been in a long time. I can't even remember if my weight has been that high in like the last year. I'm like full on into this bulk right now. I've been eating, I've been grinding, everything's going up. I'm actually thinking about doing a mini cut pretty soon because boy's getting kind of thick. Trying to put the skinny jeans on, it's not working. I might do like a little recom type thing and I'll probably cut down to about 210, maybe 208. We'll see where we are. As long as I'm keeping the strength and then I'll kind of go back into bulking. Maybe I'll do a lean bulk from 208. But today we're gonna go in the gym. We're about to smash some legs right now. I was supposed to hit it Wednesday, it's now Friday. So I'm just pushing my split so much further back, just trying to skip out on legs. So I'm gonna go in today, get it done. Probably do a moderate weight for squats, four by six. And then I'm gonna do like a lot of accessory movements today so hopefully i can get all the clips for you guys with that and you guys can kind of take some tips on this workout man honestly this is probably why i'm at 215 right now i smash these all day i am all out of the kiwi flavor so i'm kind of sad about that but got like a full stack of this left so we're going to hit that today and this is going to be the pre-workout so let's get it All right, so to kind of run you guys through this leg day that me and Selma ran through, it was actually kind of a quick one. We ended up starting out with some cardio just to get the legs all warmed up. And then we did four sets of 12 on the hip abductors. I feel like this is one of those exercises that just aids and strength in your squat. So I usually throw this in my workout or I like to throw it in my warm up period before the workout. Next thing we moved on to was some calf raises, seated calf raises, and uh, we did four sets of 12 on this also. Honestly, ultra boots are kind of like the worst shoes to do anything on when it comes to legs. So this is kind of hard to do it without your feet kind of moving side to side next thing i moved on to was some rdls i did four sets of 12 for this kind of a foreign exercise for me but someone wanted to do it so you know had to throw it in there and then ollie in the middle i finally got to my squats i did four sets of six with 225 today which is pretty much like light slash moderate weight for me i usually would do squats in the beginning of my workout but today the gym was kind of busy and i couldn't get to the squat rack for a bit of time so i just decided to do other things before i got to it my my next day that I cycle through on my push pull legs will obviously be my heavy day where I'm gonna be trying to push some weight and I'm up at about 270, 275 right now. Set so four to six, so looking pretty good. We're moving back up with the squats pretty fast. And then the last thing I ended off the workout with was some leg extensions here. Squeezing at the top, trying not to cheat so that I'm letting my legs do all of the work. It is now like 8.30, kind of late in the day, but we got some samples in today, some more samples. I know in the last video, I got samples from Patty, but these are gonna be the shirt samples. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me over there and we're gonna run through all the little details on these new samples. Oh, damn, you're vlogging too? And I'm vlogging. Hey, so make Please sure <laughs> make sure you guys check out Rashawn's channel. Best edits. I try and learn so much from this guy. I haven't checked these samples out. I haven't seen this guy in like two weeks, something Bro, like that. it's been too long. It's man. been a long it's guy's like time. Years. Yeah, so we're gonna check damn, these out. I only bro. checked out one, this one, because I wanted to see if it was trash or not. <laughs> But it was good though, so good. yeah, it was good. So I think the rest of them will be good. This is yeah. the second round of shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we only did one round of shirts and then he figured that supplier was pretty trash. I agree. And then we went, found another supplier. They actually did mess up some details with these sample orders, but we got more samples on the way from them. This was kind of to check out like the quality of the shirt, quality of the print. Then we could just go from there because the other details is pretty easy to change. It's usually like, is the quality of the clothes good? So the red flag was the color of yeah. this one. Cause this was supposed to be an olive and we actually had a color palette for these and we chose olive and they still gave us kermit the frog green <laughs> so <laughs> i'm just like what happened like we chose the exact sesame color street sesame collapse, street green son. like i couldn't believe it man but yeah quality on this is actually insane i'm pretty jealous bro limitless on the back man, i've always decked great. out in all his own stuff now man. <laughs> limitless hat got the limitless chain this is what i didn't show you guys in the last video it says your potential is limitless and then on the other side it says limitless it's pretty crazy quality on that too so yeah I love yeah it. it looks dope we actually got pictures of these samples and when we saw the pictures we thought it was just doo-doo 
like honestly just that and now we're looking at this and the cut doesn't look like the pictures no they just didn't know how to take photos yeah, they got the cut right because you can tell like if you go like this like, yeah it's like it tapers in. I mean, the pictures are bad, but the shirt looks good, so. I don't know if you guys, man, like if you would've saw the last one, you guys would know how much better this printing is. Like there's no kind of smearing on the printing. If you pull it and stretch it, it won't crack. It's some high-end stuff right there, man. Yeah, you did a really good job with the sizing on that, so. Girls, thank you so much, man. This guy been helping me out so much. Of course, like, this, of course. Couldn't make this happen without him. It looks sick, man. I'm probably gonna just get my phone out, take down some little notes from these, and then I'm gonna send in like the full finalization kind of things, and then um, we'll start ordering in some bulk stuff for these. So a lot of stuff coming from him. Go over to his channel, check out his videos. I'm sure he'll be kind of giving you guys an update on everything he's got going on in his next video. My video will probably come out later than his anyway, because I'm. I'm not as consistent as this guy, but <laughs> pretty dope to see him kind of go through the starting stages. Like I remember getting all the first samples for everything that I was doing. So it's, it's super exciting. I forgot to end the video off at Pat's house. I am back home right now. I'm about to go put some work in on my laptop. But while working on the samples for him, I am working on the samples for myself. This is not the new kosher hoodie samples, but we're getting those all figured out and work right now. In the video right here, if you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Personal over, yeah. Flipping it, I gotta go, yeah. Then I get back on the